Are you looking to apply for the Queenstown BTO for August 2021 this time round? Then you need to watch this video because I'll walk through the unit types, sitemap and loan financing for you so that you don't have to. What's up guys, welcome back to Honey Money SG. My name is Christopher and in this channel, we are all about building financial knowledge, teach money saving hacks and also help you lead a fulfilling quality of life. If you are new to this channel because of the BTO analysis, do check out my prior video where I talk more about the surrounding amenities around the map of the BTO you are looking for right here at this corner. So go there and click on the pre-analysis. So with that, let me take you through the official analysis of the August 2021 BTO. Let's go. Alright, so welcome to the official Queenstown BTO for August 2021 build to order. Now the name for this project is called Queen's Arc and is bounded by Queen's Crescent and Queensway Drive. So you can choose from 610 units with 3 room and 4 room. And they also have two residential blocks from 23 to 39 stories. And there is an additional residential block of rental flats. So there will be a total of three residential blocks in this development. Now let's take a look at the project details. Estimated completion date at third quarter 2027. So that's six years from now. Pretty long time if you ask me. Estimated waiting time that will be 67 months. Selection period between October 21 to June 2022. Now the flat types and number of units, 3 room we have 76, 4 room we have 534, total of 610 units for Queen's Arc. Okay, let's take a look at the town map. If you have watched my earlier Queenstown video, you know that this is located just right behind Alexandria Hospital. Okay, and it's next to the fire station and the proposed hospital as well. Moving on, let's take a look at some of the pictures from the artist. Okay, so this is the artist's impression. Queen's Arc, there will be three residential blocks. So two of them are the BTO blocks and one of them is the rental estate block. And this is the internal area, which is not exposed to the main road. And you'll see this very futuristic multi-story car park. Nowadays, the multi-story car park looks even nicer than the BTO flat itself. Uh. You see so many nice design over here. A lot of greenery and children's playground for your kids to play with and take your dog out for a walk or even exercise. Now the more important thing is of course the site plan. Let's take a look. Okay, so for three room, they are denoted by the green color squares, four room for the yellow color squares and rental flats in this beige color. Now facilities wise, we have children's playground, fitness station, elderly fitness station, pavilion and drop pop porch. Social amenities, so we have future amenities at the first story, so they are not planned yet. There's also a residence network center and childcare center at first story. And we also have some commercial amenities, shops at first story, minimart and eating house. So it's good you have some minimarts and some kopitiam nearby so that you don't have to walk out too far to buy food. But sadly, there's no supermarket for this project. Okay, and then for the number of blocks, we have two residential blocks, 200A and 200B. Now they range from a number of stories from 23 stories to 39 stories. So it's like different blocks have different heights and only 200B has a three room flat. So 200A is the full four room flat. Okay, and this is the breakdown of the three room and four room distribution. So for block 201, there's a first story floor plan. This is your commercial development. So likely they will find tenants to operate these shops such as the minimart and the eating house. Okay, moving on to the site plan, let's take a look at the perimeters first. So behind here is your Alexandria Hospital. This is your Queensway main road. So this road, if you take the bus, you will lead you to your nearby MRT stations such as Commonwealth and Queenstown. Now on your right here, you have a site reserved for hospital. And then next to it, there's the SCDF division. That's the fire station and the neighborhood police center. So I got some comments from my Queenstown BTO, whether there's a concern of the sirens coming from the fire department when there's an emergency, right? Definitely you'll hear some fire sirens. So maybe you want to take that as a concern. Now you see, this is the multi-story car park that we talk about. It's fairly huge, okay, compared to the size of the residential blocks. So it's like six stories high with a roof garden that's accessible. So most of the multi-story car park now comes with a roof garden. Nah. Okay, and then these are the two residential blocks that we talk about. 200A is the one nearer to the main road and 200B is the one behind. And then 202A is the rental units, so they are like a separate block away from this project. Now for those who are curious on what rental blocks are, HDB actually has this parenthood priority housing scheme. I'm not sure what's the full name, but basically if you have a kid and there is some income limit, HDB will allow you to rent a residential unit at a very cheap monthly rate. So for those who are still waiting for the BTO to complete, then maybe they have the opportunity to rent 
from HDB if they have urgent housing needs, especially if they have a kid, right? Yes, so let's take a look at the three room flats, right? You only have two stacks, 129 and 131. So nothing much to choose. Uh. It's either this or that. But if you want to talk about four room stacks, there are a lot of four room stacks. Almost all of them are. And when we choose a unit, we have a lot of factors to consider, right? The noise level, the direction is facing because of the west sun, and whether it's a corner unit for the additional privacy purpose. So if you were to ask me looking at all these units here, what are the units that are good? I would say 111 and 109. Okay, because you only have one neighbor beside you, no one else will walk through this path. Unlike your other units, you have three other neighbors that are using the same walkway with you. Unless you are like 113, 107. And the good thing about 111 and 109 is that you are north-south facing. So you don't have a concern of the west sun, especially for 109, right? But the bad thing about 109 is that you will look at the Alexandra Hospital every day. Lah. So some people who believe in feng shui will feel that they should not have a window that's facing the hospital because that's bad luck. So up to you and your beliefs, go and take a look and discuss with your partner what is the best unit that you all want to go for. And of course, let's talk about the rubbish chute, which is the red color little squares here. They are not near any unit, so it won't be a concern. Likewise for 200B or even the rental unit. So Queen's Arc, small site, nothing much to talk about. Possible future bus bay and shelter, like the Tampanese one, possible only. They're not sure whether they want to build it, but hopefully there is because it is a future road and then you can have some buses that take you to the nearby MRT because Queen's Arc itself is not even near the Queenstown MRT. So that will be a good addition to your transit options. Okay, and let's take a look at the sheltered walkway as well because you see there is this existing bus bay and shelter um, on both sides of the road and there's also an existing overhead bridge. So it's all fully sheltered but I'm not sure if this project will link the shelter most likely yes but they didn't draw it out on the site plan so that's just something to take note of okay with that let's take a look at the price of queen's arc starting with three room flat so three room flat estimated floor area 69 square meters internal floor area 66 square meters so it comes in the price range of 382 to 464,000 singapore dollars now comparing it to the resale flats nearby for queen's arc your nearby 3 room flats are hovering the price range of 580 to 608 So it's a big difference right, you see even the size is smaller than Queen's Arc Queen's Arc is only costing you around 400k But the nearby resale flats are already close to 600k It's crazy man the amount of savings compared to the resale flat So it will be a good option if you want to go for a 3 room flat And next let's take a look at the layout ideas and the floor plan for Queen's Arc So this is the standard 3 room floor plan as I can see inclusive of floor area 66 square meters with the 3 square meters for aircon latch. Now as you enter from the main door, your household shelter is on your left and then your kitchen is on the right. Let's talk about the kitchen first. HDB has actually provided the design ideas for you to design your kitchen. You see, as you enter from your main door, you have this bar top table that you can set up for your little pantry or dining area. Look at these two pictures. You can even set up some bar top stools, have some glass partition, so that you can segregate between the dry kitchen and the wet kitchen and maybe put some coffee machine here for aesthetic purposes then in the wet kitchen that's where you can do your heavy cooking and in the service yard you can do your laundry now you see hdb has actually scrapped off the service yard partition that means you don't have the service yard doors and walls so that your kitchen looks bigger but that's up to you whether you want to segregate it because of the cooking films that may go to your laundry right so that's up for you to decide if you want to do that partition and then let's go on to the living and dining room now you see this very typical l shape layout that's for almost all types of bto's right and then we have this main bedroom with a common bedroom so two bedrooms now the main bedroom or the master bedroom will come with an ensuite toilet with the aircon latch attached outside it and then you have a common bathroom so this is a very typical standard three room squarish layout nothing special HDB has been using this design for almost more than 10 years so your interior designers will be very experienced with this kind of format now let's move on to the four room pricing so estimated floor area 93 square meters with the internal floor area 90 square meters price range between 540 to 670 thousand Singapore dollars for the four room flats okay comparing to resale flats so the resale flats nearby in Queen's Arc 
are around the 800k range but you're getting queens arc 4 room at around 540 to 670 that's a huge discount of almost 200,000 Singapore dollars so really a good bargain for queens arc if you're looking at the long term investment perspective okay and then let's take a look at the floor plan so internal floor area of 90 square meters with 3 square meters of aircon latch now as you enter from the main door household shelter on your left kitchen on your right again this is a bit different for the kitchen right because for 4 room typically we have that squarish kitchen but for Queen's Arc 4 room, we have this elongated kitchen. So for those who like a long L-shaped kitchen so that you can have a long cabinets and tabletop, you will really like Queen's Arc kitchen, especially when you can also incorporate your bar top table here. Okay, you have a lot of tabletop workspace, so you can put a lot of appliances and kitchen equipment if you want to do a lot of heavy cooking. This time the service yard is built in so you have your windows and your door leading to the service yard. Living and dining space is the L shape as usual and then for 4 room you have 2 common bedrooms and 1 master bedroom. So ensuite toilet with the master bedroom and 1 common toilet. So as usual for Queen's Ark it comes with optional component scheme where you can pay additional money to HDB so that you can do up your furnishing. For example, you have $5,000, you can pay HDB so that they can add the flooring tiles and vinyl strip flooring for you. And for another $3,080, they will give you some bedroom and bathroom doors with the wash basin and the shower set. So it's up to you whether you want to take it up or not. With that, let me take you through the most important thing which is financing. How well can you afford a HDB flat in Queen's Ark? Now, I already done up this very simple Excel file, so I done it up for 3 room and 4 room for Queenstown. So you can see I already put in the minimum price and the maximum price, so the medium price will be the middle of this both. The example I'm going to use here is for the Queen's Arc 4 room, so between the minimum and maximum, the medium price will be 605,000 Singapore dollars. And as you know, if you buy HDB and you go for a CPF loan, you need to pay a 10% down payment. So we are left with a 90% loan that we can go and loan from HDB. HDB. So how do we actually calculate our monthly installments? Very simple. We go to this HDB calculator and put in the numbers that we need. So we are loaning 545,000 Singapore dollars, repayment period 25 years, interest rate 2.6% and then we come up with the monthly installment of 2473. Now take note that this 90% loan is excluding any kind of housing grants that you may be offered and of course if you have a huge CPF balance to pay down that loan then you don't need to loan that much. But but at the same time, it's also excluding any conveyancing fee, lawyer fees and buyer stamp duty for the simplicity of this calculation, right? So 2473 is a very guideline number, not the actual number. And if you have watched my CPF OA video revealing my CPF balance and also strategizing how to use your OA, you'll know that 23% of your monthly income will go to the OA contribution, right? So if you don't want to top up any cash for your monthly installment, then you have to make sure that your OA can cover it. So we just do a very simple maths formula. We use 2473 divided by 23%. It comes up to your monthly income need to be 10.8K combined between you and your partner so that you can have enough OA contribution to pay down the monthly installment without topping any cash. So some people might ask, well, if I don't have a consistent monthly income, so you can look at annual income, which is just 12 times 10.8K, it will give you 129,000 Singapore dollars. So 129,000 Singapore dollars, if you have this amount of income between you and your partner combined annually, then you can safely say that you can afford a Queen's Arc 4 room BTO. Again, take these numbers as guidelines and not the actual amount that you need to pay because you need to do your own calculations based on your own circumstances. And I hope this very simple Excel file has helped. So comment a thank you in the comment section below if you have found this useful. And with that, let's go back to the video. Alright, so I hope all this information has helped and here are the subscription rate as of the end of today. If you have found this video useful, do help me like this video and it's better if you share this video and would be best if you subscribe to my channel. Check out my full HDB BTO playlist right here where you can find a full list of videos that I've done up. My name is Christopher, this is Honey Money SG, steering young adults to financial independence.